हेलो एवरी वन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इंटरफेसिंग ऑफ ए डी सी विथ एट जीरो फाइव वन बट बिफोर दैट आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज ए डी सी ए डी सी इज एन एब्रीविएशन ऑफ एनोलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्जन इट इज यूज टू कन्वर्ट एनोलॉग वैल्यूज फ्रॉम रियल वर्ल्ड इन टू डिजिटल वैल्यूज लाइक वंस एंड जीरोज सो दीज एनोलॉग वैल्यूज फ्रॉम रियल वर्ल्ड आर नथिंग बट विच वी actually face in our day to day life like temperature speed brightness etc now adc will not convert these kind of values into digital but adc can only convert analog voltage values into digital values so in this uh, video i'm going to explain how to interface this adc with 8051 so we are going to make use of 0808 ic or 0809 ic which is nothing but adc ic it is a 28 pin ic so this is pin description of ic adc 0809 that is analog to digital converter so this is uh, ic with the 28 pin we will see the description of all pins one by one so pin number 1 2 3 4 5 and pin number 26 27 28 28 all these pins are nothing but analog input pins so pin numbers 1 to 5 and 26 to 28 designated as input 0 to input 7 in total 8 analog inputs of this ic we can connect this signals coming from eight different transducers to these inputs each one of these inputs will be converted to 8 bit equivalent digital output however these inputs are converted into digital form one by one and not all at a time hence one of these eight input should be selected for conversion the selection is done by means of the address pins a b c so the next three pins are 23 24 25 which are nothing but a b c which are nothing but address pins dependent on address pins out of eight input one of them is selected so it means whatever value we will give at address pins a b c according to that one of the analog input is selected so that it can be converted into digital output so say suppose uh, abc is having value 010 so 010 is nothing but 2 so input 2 is selected and the analog signal at this input is converted to equivalent digital form say suppose abc is having value 111 so 111 means 7 so input 7 is selected and it can be converted into digital form then the next pins are pin number 12 and 16 so pin number 12 is for v reference which is positive and 16 is v reference which is negative so we can connect a positive or negative reference voltage externally to these pins which is dependent on desired polarity of the reference voltage next pin number is pin number 22 which is named as ale so the address latch enable it is nothing but address latch enable and this input is useful for enabling the address latch which stores the address on lines abc so abc is abc are address pins and the address which is there on abc can be latched using ale next pin is pin number 9 which is output enable pin the output enable pin when activated will make the digital output available on the output pins means whenever you will uh, enable this pins the digital output will be available on the output pins next pin is pin number 6 which is nothing but soc which is nothing but start input so this start input is uh, when we will enable this start input this will begin a to d conversion so a pulse is given it's to be given on start pin to start the conversion which is a to d a to c conversion next pin is pin number 7 which is called as eoc eoc is nothing but end of conversion so the end of conversion is indicated by eoc pin number 14 and pin number 15 to 21 all these pins are nothing but digital output pins and the digital output is available on these pins so the db7 is nothing but msb of the digital output and whereas db1 uh, sorry db0 
which is nothing but LSB of the output. Pin number 10 is clock which is used as clock signal. So this was nothing but pin description of ADC. Now we will see how to interface this ADC with 8051. So you can see the diagram. This is your 8051 and this is ADC 0809. Now ADC 0809 has 8 input channels. Hence in order to select an input channel it is essential to send 3 bit address on ABC. I have told you that there are 8 input channels IN0 to IN7 and there are 3 address pins ABC. Now whatever you give on this input channels will be converted into digital signal and you can get that digital signal as output. So which one is to be selected out of 8? that is dependent on ABC that I have already explained to you this 3 bit address will select any one of the input pin so that it can be converted into output. The address of desired channel is sent to the address inputs through the port pins so that address is sent to address inputs through port pins P20, P21 and P2.2 after 50 nanoseconds the address must be latched it can be obtained by sending ALE signals which is address enable this ALE signal after 2.5 seconds SO, SOC that is nothing but start of conversion must be made high then low to start the conversion to indicate end of conversion signal must be activated 8051 pins P2.6 and P2.7 are connected to SOC and EOC respectively. After the conversion is over, 8-bit digital data is present on D0 to D7 lines. 8051 accepts the data through port 1. So you can see all this D0 to D7 which is nothing but to P1.0 to P1.7. So that is how it is to be done. The clock is given. And this is how we can convert our input signals to digital signals using ADC and this ADC can be interfaced with 8051. Thank you.